This is the Sales Babble Podcast, episode 454, How a Great Presentation is Like a Fine Meal. Welcome to Sales Babble, the podcast that shares selling secrets for non-sellers. And now your host, Pat Helmers. Hello, sales babblers. This is Pat Helmers, and the Tao Te Ching says that in order to be light on your feet, you need a steady mind. That's what it takes to entertain guests during this holiday season, right? A lot can go wrong, but it can be dealt with when you expect problems. The same is true during a sales call. Adept sellers are proficient at juggling a number of balls at once in each presentation is a full course meal. We don't want to serve up too much of any one dish during the meal. It takes balance and patience, which is today's topic, how a great presentation is like a fine meal. But before we start, please make sure and subscribe to the podcast in whatever app that you're listening to, and also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and myself on LinkedIn. You can find links in the show notes. And now today's chapter, A Client Meal. Mindful of your dress, choose your dinnerware carefully. When making a pitch, spoon feed the details slowly. Table any issues you can't address to completion. Cut your pitch into bite-size amounts. Be careful not to have the horse follow the a la carte and when you come to a fork in the conversation, pick it up, lest the listener gets bored. Yeah. And now today's story. On Monday, Chris asked Pat, How was your holiday? When we talked last week, you were a bit worried. Pat let out a long breath and said, it was a bit rocky, but that's family, right? The food was great, but there were moments of sniping about politics, sibling rivalry, and past mistakes dug up. I was more interested in the families and how everyone was doing, but it kept going off the rails. I regret I didn't take the fork in the road. What do you mean by that? queried Chris. Pat went on, it's like making a pitch. It takes a lot of work to plan a quality presentation, just like a great feast. But sometimes, prospects sabotage the presentation by going off-tangent and on controversial topics. The seller needs to be the grown-up in the room. Sellers need to steer the conversation back on course. I had the opportunity to take the fork in the road. I didn't, and I should know better. That mistakes on me. Yogi Berra, the Major League Baseball catcher, manager, and coach, was known for his impromptu comments, malapropisms, and witticisms. Yogi once said, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. This alludes to the importance of mindfulness and opportunity because it's easy to fall into a rut of habit. Buyers can pick up on these things, and when that happens, you become a commodity. That ain't good. To further the restaurant metaphor, Yogi Berra also said, Nobody goes there anymore. It's too crowded. <laughs> That's the challenge of branding, to differentiate yourself from the rest, or nobody's going to go there anymore. Value and ROI. That's the ticket to success. To download a copy of this week's Dow of Sales Babble chapter, you can find it in the show notes at www.salesbabble.com. And while you're there, you can sign up for our brief weekly newsletter with links in the podcast sent conveniently into your inbox. I won't spam you, I promise. Next, if you could do me a favor and share this episode with a friend who's interested in growing and improving their selling skills, please do. 
on whatever app you're using. Subscribe to Sales Babble and share this episode with your friend. Word of mouth is the premier way of growing listeners. If you have any questions about this episode or any episode we've had up to now, don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can find me on LinkedIn or click the Babble Me link on the website. With that said, that's all I've got for this week. Until next Tuesday, take care and have a highly successful and a profitable selling day. Thank you for listening to the Sales Babble Podcast. Find us at www.salesbabble.com. This is a production of Abenero Media.